Hi, hi, welcome back. We're going to be reacting on Finland is feminist. Fun facts about feminism in Finland history. Let's check this out. Finland is viewed abroad as a rather progressive country with good gender equality. Compared to where I live in Greece, Finland is even seen as a feminist country. Even our graffitis are not masculine, but rather take the form of a church boat. As this month marks the celebration of Finland's pioneering feminist Minna Kant, let's look at some amusing facts about the role and appreciation of women in Finland throughout history. And what would be a better place to start than the mythical past, hundreds if not thousands of years ago? That's when, according to folklore, the powerful witch Louhi or Loviatar gave birth to nine horrible diseases fathered either by the wind or the sea monster Ikutursa. She is also the antagonist of our national epic Kalevala, where she rules as the mighty lady of the northern realm. How many other major female villains do we know from folklore? Let me know in the comments. Besides the mythical realm of Pohjola, women were often the bosses of the house during the Viking Age, that is, the late Iron Age in Finland. It was a restless time in Northern Europe, with the men often hunting or raiding far from the house. A very famous burial site from this period contains a beautifully crafted sword. It was found next to a high-status lady's grave and suggested the existence of female leaders or warriors. Or so it was previously assumed. Turns out that the person was likely a male with Kleinfelder syndrome, giving him female features and it has made historians and journalists wonder about the gender roles of the era. Very little can, Just however, let me know how be said for certain. These words are. The oldest surviving medieval document concerning Finland is what else but a letter of protection for the women of Karelia. Written in 1316 and following the Swedish conquest of Karelia, the king of Sweden, Birger Magnusson, guarantees safety for all women in the region, as well as the most severe form of royal punishment to those who violate it. Witch hunts and trials are often associated with the Middle Ages, however that is largely incorrect. Such is the case with Finland, then part of Sweden, where the witch hunts took place in the 1600s. Interestingly, more than half of the convicted witches were men. Women, however, were usually considered powerful in terms of magic, especially through their genitals, which were portals from our world to the other world. Especially powerful were the genitals that had given birth. This power was known as Vitun Vaki. As the viewers of the channel likely know, Vaki in Finnish folklore means the magical power of a person or object. This power was not always a good thing for women, however. Men both respected and feared the Vitun Vaki and consequently limited women's freedom. Flashing the genitals was like casting a powerful spell. It is said to have repelled bears and other beasts. This cannot be shown in the video, so you'll have to imagine what it would have looked like. The tradition of the Vitun Vaki survives to some extent in the form of midsummer spells or magic rituals. Midsummer, celebrated in the middle of the summer, as the brightest viewers might know or puzzle together, is a pagan wow. solstice celebration. Many of these rituals involve jumping over or circling places with genitals exposed or uncovered in order to attract a future husband. The women's rights movement and the first wave of feminism were prominent in the late 1800s. The important author and social activist of the time, Minna Kant, is the first Finnish woman to have a national flag day in her honor. Not long after the feminist Kant's death, Finland, then still an autonomous part of the Russian Empire, was the first country in the world to both allow women to vote and run for the parliament. During the Second World War, women largely ran the country's economy and many remained in the workforce after the wars. 
So long after the mythical days of the primordial sorcerer Lohi, Finland is a relatively gender equal place today. Even our language does not have gendered pronouns. This was a short collection of facts about women's position throughout Finnish history and prehistory that I find interesting. Did I leave something out? More than likely. Drop a comment to share your thoughts and prayers. Moreover, this video is not making any thesis. Although I've gathered some examples of historical appreciation for women, they have of course suffered greatly throughout history. They've been sold to slavery and raped and murdered in great numbers by Russian soldiers, for example during the Great Wrath. Ending with such a bright note here. If Finnish mythology and history are close to your heart, see a cardiologist and then check out my other videos. Do consider subscribing to the channel in order to not miss the upcoming episodes. I'm so glad I checked this out and I really, really enjoyed it. It made me to know more, which I really did not know about, right? Please let me know how accurate you feel like these words you made mention of are on the comment section, right? Thank you so much and...